at Muse on at Muse Gad on Rumble. Do you follow in a political podcast? I enjoyed the Duran. Yeah, Duran, uh, Judge Napoleon, uh, Scott Ritter, uh, DD, uh, DG Politics. Even though I don't agree with the communism points of view, so I don't agree with everyone's take on anything, everything, right? Uh, especially not Scott Ritter. Like Scott Ritter, I love gang. This is one thing that people people have a hard time. Woke people have a hard time grasping, right? So, as soon as they disagree, the woke. This is this is another definition of the woke, right? This, we've got multiple definition category. What are the woke? This 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 this. Here's another thing with the woke. The woke have TDS. We already established that. Here's another thing with the woke. If they disagree with one thing with you, then they don't. They'll 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 stop listening to you consider you a piece of crap they they hate you they, they throw tamper tantrums all that shit is shit right here's the thing with scott ritter if you've been following my work you know i love scott ritter i man i've been following scott ritter since the pre-invasion of iraq right because he was a weapons inspector he was trying to prevent the war in iraq and i was hardcore trying to prevent that as well right that's a build up to the iraq war right so i was following scott ritter way back then he was putting out uh lectures articles and stuff like this telling people look man these people are pushing you into war don't buy into it don't buy into it don't buy into it right and you know that i'm armenian right and armenian genocide first major genocide of the 20th century pre-holocaust right while israel doesn't recognize the armenian genocide scott ritter right scott ritter doesn't think that the armenian genocide was a genocide during world war one right i'm armenian if i was woke i would hate scott ritter right i don't hate scott ritter that's his opinion right i disagree with him in a big way that was a genocide right but scott ritter says no it wasn't a genocide in my humble opinion the reason scott ritter doesn't think it was a genocide is because he was fully in support of israel years ago until he started digging into what israel is and what they are doing and he is one of the most adamant people against israel that you'll find right someone that supported israel up the yin yang collaborated with israel right for decades is now one of the most anti-zionist israeli people you'll ever meet right in his opinion israel doesn't have the right to exist anymore right zionism must end i agree with that and israel has forfeited its right to exist to a certain degree i agree with that but zionist israel has for in my opinion zionist israel has forfeited its right to exist right but i still listen follow to most of the things that scott ritter puts out i read let's say about 40 percent of the articles he puts out i watch as many live streams as i can that he puts out right and as many interviews i love it when he appears on other podcasts where they do interviews right with him i watch almost all of those okay so keep this in mind if you're listening to podcasts following anyone's work or whatnot if you disagree with one of their opinions and not believing that the genocide of the armenians during world war one is not genocide is not a small thing right it's not a small thing right if you disagree with one thing that someone has to say you don't have to write them off on everything they have to say okay that's a sign of maturity that's a sign of maturity okay so coming back to your question uh do you follow in a political podcast yeah uh the durant scott ritter um alex when he walks around and does his pod, you know news reviews and stuff like this judge napolitano dg politics new atlas um and a whole bunch of other ones uh, paul craig roberts any interviews that paul craig roberts puts out on his website i watch all of them uh martin armstrong martin armstrong doesn't do podcasts but he does do he does appear in a lot of interviews and stuff like this uh but amuse cat what i'm gonna do is uh sooner rather than later we'll do a live stream where we'll go through my sources of news and information okay um 
so we'll do that okay